Hello everyone, everybody. YouTube land. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm making funny noises tonight. <coughs> As you can see, pitch black outside. It's middle of the night now. Uh, it's almost midnight my time. <coughs> so I'm doing a quick video. Uh, there was a lot of question about whether these, um, this design, uh, you see this a lot. Raikon makes one, Delta makes one, uh, Ren makes one, um, I think Porta Cable makes one, almost, and Bridget makes one, almost every single color, comes in every color, every single badge, they all make one. It's ranging about $120 to $170. Um, I luckily, when Ren came out with this, this was like two years ago, uh, I bought it and it was on a massive sale. I got it brand new for 60 bucks on Amazon. So uh, at that price, this was worth it. I bought it. Now I think it's $110 or maybe $99. I don't know what it is. It's not worth it anymore. And I've been preaching how horrible this thing is. Now here is some modification I have done for this particular um, saw. On the side right here, I have bolted this thing to the table, and there's one in the back. Um, I have also taken the shroud off of this thing because it was rattling like crazy. Um, I have fine-tuned using a digital um, whatever thing call it. This table looks slanted, but it is 90 degree to the blade. So I don't know why it looks slanted, but yet 90 degree to the blade. So that means the whole thing is kind of crooked on the table. Whatever, I don't really care. Um, so the, the thing that this thing, as it move up and down, supposed to pump air and blow out air. It doesn't do that. It kind of really sucky. Uh, it just does not. You can just rip this thing off. It doesn't really do anything. Um, this does keep the piece of board on the on the table a little bit, but you know it's really flimsy. I most most of the time I actually bend this thing to fit certain depth if it doesn't actually fit um, and this is the worst culprit of all let me lift this up just so you can see um, this thing when I'm getting towards the edge whenever I need to press down hard on it because this thing's vibrating so hard that this divots and if I'm using thin material I'm pressing so much pressure that it actually uh, causes its inaccuracy uh, so I have looked and you can get metal replacement for these things, but I just don't find it, um, I, I didn't find it that worthwhile to, to do the replacement. So um, with that said, let me turn this thing on so everybody can see. It does have a good range of speed, but as you can see, lowest speed, I'm turning it. I'm halfway now and barely change any speed at all. So halfway through, barely change any speed. And then almost like the last quarter, it changes drastically. So, and without having anything there, you can feel how vibrating this thing is already. This aluminum table rattles. It's not stable. I have here uh, approximately half inch thick oak, red oak. Um, it's flattened and I was using it for something else. I think I was using it to make a metal, I mean a middle uh, line drawer thingy, whatever it was. Uh, the blade is fairly new. The blade is, um, I want to say, I had a couple of usage on it. 
But whatever, however the old this blade is, it's not as old as that blade. I'll get into talking about this machine in a few minutes. Um, so let's take a look at this, how well this do. Let me put this thing down so that it would actually hold my hold my piece of stock while I'm doing this. Most of the time you won't be cutting something this thick. I'm just cutting it thick to prove a point. Uh, before I do that, I should get goggles on so that I don't, if something happened, that won't damage I, my eyes. Goggles on, safety, and let's go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick circular pattern just to follow it, just to see how accurate I can get. Nothing special. So, maybe this is too slow. So, higher speed. extremely difficult to to do on this thing it's just this thing is rattling so much and this thing give me no support so now you see how the ren does let's take a look at this uh i got this today the bed is cast iron this thing weighs probably weigh twice as much as this thing. I got this thing for 30 bucks today off of um, Facebook, our marketplace. Uh, it's approximately dating back to 1930s or maybe even older than that. It's a Dunlop. Um, I don't really have much information on this. I haven't gone through. Um, there's an oil level on here somehow. Um, that I, th there's a lot of things that I need to, I basically, all I did was clean up this little bit and so it won't be so dirty. Besides that, I have not done anything else to it. Uh, let me adjust this thing so that it fits the, fits the wood. The blade, uh, according to the seller is very old. How old? I don't know. He, he did say that he wouldn't advise me cutting on it. <laughs> I'm going to cut on it just to prove a point. Um, and um, the, you're going to see in a moment when I turn on start, the thing won't start. It's not because the fact that the, the machine is broken or not, but because the belt is... Um, old and and formed it, it formed the shape so therefore uh the shape is preventing the the belt from actually moving so therefore i have to help it along as it starts you know that or the start capacitor is not really that effective either way now let's hear the difference and look at the vibration the key fact is the vibration
the machine does not vibrate the whole entire thing. It's a single speed. I can't turn, turn it on higher or lower. Uh, I can technically get a VFD to do that. Noise level is about the same. Maybe this one's a little bit noisier. Let me get things out of the way. I'm going to continue cutting the part that I can't continue cut. And just to see what happens. Notice the back of this thing is not jumping up and down. Actually. Yes, you can see this. I don't even have to hold it. I am a bit stuck on something, I think. I think my bottom is caught on the bottom of this and prevent me from pushing forward. So I hope see how the old, the that run goes in here and couldn't turn anymore. The back of this thing was rattling so much because this thing couldn't hold this thing down at all. And <coughs> so it's not the fact that this thing is not tight against it. You can see that this is tight against it. But because this thing is so flimsy that this thing rattles, and this thing rattles the whole thing. Versus this thing, it actually goes up and down. And the thing is rock solid. It's able to make a turn right on the line. Right on the line. That's $30. And that will probably last me until I die. I will clean this up and I can probably pass it along to my sons 
this is probably going to go up on Facebook Marketplace being sold and probably sell it for 50 bucks and I'll probably get that price because everybody's selling these things for 100 bucks and this will be snatched off my hand really quickly and the person who buy it think they got a deal but in reality I would not ever want to buy that thing ever again and that's how I feel